Well, he's not only jolly, he's apparently a vapor. An e-cig company under fire for a billboard depicting Santa saying, I don't always vape, but when I do, I choose Vapor Shark. But is this ad giving kids the wrong message? Attorney Remy Spencer says yes, and attorney Ken, uh, Kent Zimmerman <laughs> says no. We'll do it right here. You guys look at me. Okay, so Remy, can you believe Santa Claus smokes e-cigs and vapes? What a terrible example that we are setting for the nation's youth. We've got laws, we've got regulations with respect to actual true cigarettes, which we know cause cancer and a whole a host of health issues. This e-cigarette is promoting unhealthy behavior for children. It's making it cool. It's why put it in a Santa Claus hand unless you're trying to get a young generation hooked on it. Nobody disputes that these e-cigarettes are full of nicotine and they are addictive. Mm -hmm. Why are they trying to get the young children involved Ms. in e-cigarettes? Mr. Zimmerman, I remember when they pulled ads. Remember Joe Camel? Yes. They weren't allowed to have um, a cartoon uh, endorsing cigarettes. Now, but this, but Santa's okay for e-cigarettes? This isn't a cigarette, though. It's not a tobacco product. Some of them don't even have nicotine in them. And what I would say is, if we outlaw this, where's it going to stop? Are we going to not allow fast food advertising for kids? How about soft drinks? Is everything that might potentially, and by the way, the FDA said this might potentially be harmful. So if everything that might potentially be harmful, we're just going to outlaw that, the government should stay well, out let's of this. Have, we asked the company, we, reach, we reached out to the company for a statement, and they're saying this. They said, quote, we use electronic age verification in all of our stores. We make products for adult, former smokers. That's it. We also think a gorgeous woman has much more seductive or persuasive power over a young person <laughs> than our use of Santa. I gotta say, I'm not sure I follow that logic there. Um, the point is that children shouldn't be smoking these things. They are potentially harmful. Is there anything else we need to know? To say that it's not truly a cigarette is a distinction without a difference because it's potentially harmful to a child they shouldn't be smoking them. Mr. Zimmerman, uh, we're, we're showing uh, Ke Jenny McCarthy actually promoting the, the blue brand of, of e-cigarettes. Distinction without a difference, Remy says, but there is a difference here, isn't there? It's a huge difference. Listen, there's 50 million people or so that smoke tobacco. Yeah, there's a widely held perception, a lot of evidence, that those are dangerous. You've got e-cigarettes. People use these to quit. The more people that smoke e-cigarettes, e the less that smoke tobacco. So do we want to outlaw something that decreases the use of something harmful. But we're Come not on. talking about outlawing. That's the thing. We're not saying you can't go to the store and buy them. You, we're not saying that you can't smoke them if you want to. We're saying let's not target children. These are not toys. Let's sell them to adults who are making knowing decisions about what they're doing to their body. Great, good point, though, Ken. Well, you're clearly targeting children when you use Santa for an ad, uh, in your ads, right? The, so, listen, do I think it's tacky? Yes, I wouldn't run that ad. But should we outlaw it? Come on. Are we going to outlaw everything that we think is tacky? There's a lot of things that are tacky that we shouldn't outlaw. Again, and not further, outlaw. the FDA is studying this. They're looking at this. They said it might be harmful. The American Lung Association might be harmful. If there was more evidence that it is, they would say that. I tend to agree with, with you, Mr. Kent. Uh, I, I just I, I don't like outlawing things. I just don't I, I like less regulation. But take a look at an ad that um, Greenpeace actually ran using Santa Claus to promote their message as well. And I think when you do this, you really affect the kids. The kids really want to see what Santa's saying. Watch this. And there may be no alternative but to cancel Christmas. Okay, so that fake Santa thing in the red and the bottom, we put that on. They didn't actually have it on there. So kids watching this, they're on the Internet, and they see it, and poor Santa saying, we're canceling Christmas because of global warming. Oh, my goodness. And what's next? If Santa's smoking an e-cig, is it Barney? <laughs> Are we going to see, you know, at Toys R Us, you can pick up your Legos and your e-cigarettes? Look, no one's saying take them off the shelves completely. We're saying target an audience the same way that true cigarettes are being targeted. Let's regulate just that much about how they're going to advertise, not to children, just to adults. But using Santa, you have to admit, the kids are the ones who are too focused in when Santa Claus comes up, right? Kids like Santa Claus, but listen, a world in which we don't influence kids negatively is a pipe dream, no pun intended. But listen, we can't have everything based around outlawing things that might wrongly affect children. That's not the free market system that we live in. We live in an appropriately regulated market. We're not China. We're not a place where the government tells everybody what they want to do you know based what? We, on innuendo. We have to leave it there. Remy Spencer, Kent Zimmerman, thank you guys very much.